Okay, I'm gonna make uh, my second attempt. Uh, the first video I made, the sound was horrible. I got this new mic, so let's see how I do this time around. I've updated the site uh, since the last video I made. I put it together within 24, 48 hours. I was doing it quick. I was just throwing pieces of, of the puzzle into this. And I've modified it or I expanded it since then. So what you're going to see on this video is different from the first video. The first video was like, um, man, I need to get this information out to somebody that uh, could use this information and expand their research or their, their knowledge see, and um, help them. Cause that's all normally what I've done for 30 years. I basically stay in the shadow. I've helped uh, numerous people in the past. You know, this is a passion of mine. Been doing it for a long time. And okay, let's see. I'm not good at my English is uh, nah. Okay. So okay, getting back. This is where this is where it all started. My brother here, B, uh, the real BP Earth. I highly recommend you guys watching it. Him supporting them. Uh, and then from there, uh, I started uh, piecing this together. It, it piqued my interest. And then the, uh, th this th this basically was like a 101, but as I started putting these pieces together, a picture started emerging uh, that it's no coincidence. These are signs in the stars. Um, and they're up for the interpreta your interpretation of what they might be. And... Um, I reference uh, a quote from Enoch, chapter 2, kind of ties in, and here's a great, beautiful image from um, Australian, he's, 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 he's amazing, been following his work for numerous years, and he never fails, and I, I updated all this stuff like eight days ago. And, and this site here basically gives, um, you know, images, curve chart, magnitude, expect, it, it keeps changing by the way I've noticed, and the 3D orbit, and a whole bunch of other information, very, very useful, and um, here's the observation, uh, click on that, I'm going to make a Let's see, there it is. Look at that. The last one being, uh, let's say, November 18. And not that much information posted. But apparently there's a lot of interest. Look at that. The 15th, the 10th. See, NASA JPL didn't up their, update their observation. I think the last one was uh, October 26th. October 26 and since then look at that so there's a lot of eyeballs a lot of eyeballs on the on this comet just like uh, there's a lot of eyeballs on comet 2017 K2 Panstar which is a giant which I'll get into later this is post number two and here here this information here I was referring the last observation, let's see if they updated it. I'm going to click on that. Maybe they updated it. Uh, let's see. Um, come on, pop up. There it is. Yeah, they updated it. Wow, okay, it's now up to 1,600 instead. Okay, so the solution date was on the 20th. And it shows a three-day model. Um, 
Let's see if I click on. Nope. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where's the play button? Okay, I'll get back to that. There's another site. That's why. Okay, the the live the sky. That's the site I recommend. If you want to play with the 3D like this one right here, okay. Here, the sky, you know, gives more information about the comet. It's star constellation, where it's at currently, and uh, the light curve, okay. And the orbital elements okay here let's try this one here it is check this oops there it is right, right, right. come on black father get this right man okay let's see let's go to the the full screen and let's play with this a little bit okay this November 28 December 1st December December 10, 11, 12, oops, they, they updated it, huh, okay, let's see where, how close, when it, right there, let's see, that's as far as I can zoom in, wow, look at that, it's, look at that, this is new, okay, so it's going to go right in front of the orbit, that means the, um, that means when the uh, Venus is going to get the tail end of the, uh, it's going to get the tail end of Comet Leonard. It doesn't have the distance. When if they change the distance? Let's go on 18 to see what happens. 18. This is trying to zoom as close. Look at that. Wow. Whoops. Okay. I'm gonna have to make two two parts on this video, so it causes uh, the comet causes it right in front of Venus on the 18th and 19th, 20th. So it's gonna have an effect, no doubt. Okay, and post number three. Uh, I'll be murdering his name if I try to pronounce it. I have a link right here. It it also provides uh, a lot of great information. Been following him forever, and they got it now at a uh, magnitude four uh, on uh, okay. Also has pictures. Click on here, and you get the latest pictures. It's, so it hasn't been updated recent yet, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, let me get that out of the way. Okay, here I have some sites that you could go to that um, that uh, provide more information. I mean, I, I gather them from all all over the world, different languages and all. It doesn't matter. We all speak the same language when it comes to comets, and I highly recommend this site right here. And um, and there's still many from South America and Germany are gone or they became private. In other words, you pay a fee. Uh, this one was done seven. Remember, this was done seven days ago. It was done quick. And um, here we have Comet 2021 A1 on uh, December 12th when it's in the star constellation of. I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Athusius and the snake. And also, the one I've been following for years, this is the giant. Um, uh, 2017 K2, also on that date, is going to be in the head of the snake. So that's a date to, um, to keep eye on. And let's see what I put here. I'll give the coma uh, estimate. Of, of the 139 hundred thousand kilometers on the 12th the Sun is in there too and Mercury is in the snake here we got the Sun 
which is the galactic center by the way of the location so you have it lined up with the galactic center on the same date that is a coincidence and I picked the location of the La Palma because that's where things are happening at right now and number eight I post the link here because I've been going back and forth because this comment here is also showing a lot of signs 12 12 and the number 777 and um, it uh, it drew my attention for many reasons. Uh, Revelation 12, chapter 12, the God numbers. See, distance to Venus. Let's see what I put here. Okay, this is a study done on the 13th of October. Basically, gives the uh, distance will approach Venus to within 0 0.02 AUs, which is approximately la 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 la. la 2.6 million miles away or seven but that I this was done on the 13th I think they're gonna have to update that because it looked like it changed of course it got closer uh, number post number nine basically this is history you know comments have been expired expired threat dread fear all in many different cultures and society around the world and throughout time they have been branded with such titles as harbingers of doom and the menace of the universe they have been regarded both as omens of disasters and messengers of the gods that's why we've also referred to Venus I mean to Enoch in the, the first post I put the ancients and people in the past viewed comets and this was done by JPL NASA all this study okay and this is from um, when I was doing the and um, the crown the snake and the above her feet it uh, drew my attention to that page two Ben uh, let's see here let's jump to post number 13 seven days ago I haven't updated this one yet uh, might be true who knows before the Greek astronomers depicted of Theseus as a male snake holder what if the original star constellation of Ophesius was a female in this site here she brings she has a gathers a lot of information I mean she tries to paint it to be like good uh, you know the dark side and a lot is very interesting and here the original symbol of the constellation of feature was a woman wrestling with a giant serpent hmm. and this is the symbol they say it used to be the representation of Ophesius and you got one two three four five six seven crowns you got the snake and you got the like the planet splitting open and boom it's fascinating okay number 14 I covered numerous times star constellation of Theseus as a male this time for the first time I'm going to cover it as a female Okay, this site here has a lot of information massive and um, I'm gonna end the video right here and make part two this is I need to do make part two and see how this one works out if it works out good uh, if it don't well excuse me okay